What's good, YouTube? Hit me at X. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. Real quick video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock this one out so I can get back to work. But uh, shout out to the Finnish Suns uh, for their effort, at least, <coughs> in trying to get this game coming off a of back to back. A uh, very tough uh, two game stretch uh, after the, you know, well, really, rest of the season. It's going to be a tough rest of the season. And, um, uh, I ain't gonna say I expected them to lose, but I expected this to be a tough game as it was. And um, <clears throat> the Phoenix Suns came and they showed up, man. I, I can't, I can't be too upset about a loss like this um, because they did everything I asked them to do. It's just the shots weren't falling. I mean, shout credit to the Boston Celtics. Uh, you look at the the game summary. We shot 17% from the three point line. Now a lot of those shots were wide open. But um, if you notice from my you know previous videos, me going over the percentages, this has, this has been a trend, you know, um, with us shooting poorly from the three point line, and um, it is what it is at this point. We're just in a in a bad slump, and hopefully we can pull out of it. But if, if there's something else that you're noticing, is that we're shooting under 10 free throws every game, right? Another game we only shoot nine nine free throws, and in in in, in our losses. We're always under 25 assists, that 25 assist threshold that I've been asking for us to maintain. Anytime we're under 25 assists, nine times out of 10, we're going to lose. <clears throat> you know, we got out rebounded. You know, like, like shit like that, in my opinion, we got to clean up. Now, we, we did force 20 turnovers, which, in my opinion, kept us in the game. Like, all those turnovers, all those steals we was, we was generating kept us in the game. But like I said before, anytime I'm shooting six for 35 from the three-point line, just not going to be able to get it done. And I felt like they kept beating their head against the wall, <clears throat> constantly shooting threes, threes, threes over and over again, as opposed to getting to the basket. You know, get to the basket. You got DeAndre Ayton. He's a mismatch on anybody that Boston has out there. You know, I think they had uh, Grant Williams on him. I, I kept seeing Grant Williams match up on DeAndre Ayton. And I felt like that's a, a matchup we should have abused. But it is what it is. I ain't, I ain't going to take nothing away from it. Uh, Mikael Bridges gave us 15 points, two rebounds, four assists, a steal, shot 43% from the field. Um, like I said before, man, we got to work on getting to the basket better. Um, nine of those 16 shots were three-pointers, and he shot one for nine from the three-point line, y'all. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, Chris Paul, 22 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, nearly a triple-double. Um, eight for 16 from the field. But CP3 was in score score first mode, in my opinion. And um, that's a recipe for disaster in my like I feel like CP3 has to be the one who who is the facilitator. And anytime he's in score mode in the second, third quarter, now you're 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 in trouble, you know. That's when you know you're in trouble, it's gonna be a tough game. Uh Cam Johnson gave us eight points, six rebounds, uh in the starting role. Not too impressive, but it is what it is. It's Cam Johnson. He's a hit and miss player. Uh, DeAndre Ayton, like I said, 10 points, 9 rebounds. Uh, 5 for 8 from the field, but needs to get more shots. It's just that simple. But then again, DeAndre Ayton needs to stop passing out of shots because he had a lot of shots, wide open, clean looks that he passed out for threes. It's like, like I said before, beating your head against the wall. Uh, Devin Booker gave us 15 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, uh, 6 for 13 from the field. And I think he fouled out. Let me see. I know I stopped watching after a while. I had to. Y'all see what time I'm up. You know. Y'all see what time I got to be at work, man. I ain't, I ain't got time to be watching no games like this. Yeah, he fouled out. <clears throat> so it is what it is. And um, our bench didn't really do too, too much for us. Uh, Tory Craig gave us some valuable minutes though. Uh, seven points, five rebounds. And uh, Campaign also gave us seven points. Campaign was out there looking foolish too, man. You know, out there looking. Miscombobulated, out of sync, out of order. Look, he shot 33% from the field. You know, like I said, man, our, our point guards was just out of out of sync, and I felt like we should have been able to get whatever we wanted to on guys like Kimba Walker and uh, Peyton Pritchard. That those are those, that's barbecue chicken. Stop trying to get the switch and attack them. You know, attack those. That's their weakness. Is their point guards, their perimeter defense. That's their weakness. You did, especially when Peyton Pritchard's on the court. Uh, Dario Sarge, another pathetic performance. Two points, zero rebounds. But that's Dario Sarge for you. And uh, Langston Galloway got some burn. 
But at the end of the day, like I said before, it was just a bad game all around for the Phoenix Suns. I'm not going to come out, come out here and go on a classic rant because it's just one game. This is a team we're not going to see in the playoffs. Let's be honest. We're not going to see this team in the finals. Um, not going to see this team in any round of the playoffs. So I'm not going to say this game was meaningless, but it was a game that, in my opinion, was a good measuring stick. But not something I could, I could, I could hang my hat on or – I sit here and throw a whole hissy fit about you. Did. It is what it is. It's just one game. Uh, I think we play Brooklyn next. If not Brooklyn, I think New York. I know we got a back-to-back -back coming up next uh, on Sunday. So I will be looking out for that one. But uh, Hitman next, that's all I got. Oh, yeah, let me go over the Boston Celtics, man. Uh, Baby Cole, Jason Tatum, 15 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists. Baby Cole, though. He, he Baby Cole, right? Shout out to Kimball Walker, man. He had a hot start that first quarter. And I thought he was going to fall off in the third quarter, but it looked like he kept it going, man. 5 for 11 from the three-point line. I said, man, shout out to the Boston Celtics. But it is what it is. Hit, man, hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.